Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam Nixon and this is the big one everyone has been waiting for. This is the round of mail and this is Reading 2021 Essentials Preparation Guide. Everything you need to take to Reading and Leeds 2021 to have a successful trip. So we're going to be breaking this down into four categories. It's going to be toiletries, camping stuff, food and drink and miscellaneous, the rest, whatever the other category is. It's basically the other things. So let's get on with it. We're going to start with toiletries. Okay, so essential number one is going to be wet wipes or some sort of wipes. You're going to need more than this, but this is all I've got in the house. Hand wipes, wet wipes. If you're not going to be showering, you're not going to be doing the glamper thing, you're not going to be using the prison showers, how are you going to shower? How are you going to wash? You're going to use wet wipes. You're going to just wet wipe all over. That's going to be your best bet. A little bit grim, but that's how you got to do it. Obviously, you all know that, but that is very essential to keep your hygiene up at Reading Mead Festival. Okay, so this one is for the Reading goers. You're going to need sun cream. I'm only joking, but it's probably likely going to be raining at Leeds and sunny at Reading. For you Leeds fans, grab one of these. It's a little poncho. You might need it. Anyway, what you don't want to do is be on that first day and get burnt and it ruin your experience and you get heat stroke and stuff like that. You don't want it at all. So the next one is going to be something simple like deodorant. Um, I think that's a women's one actually, but yeah, you're just going to need some deodorant just to keep you sprayed. You can use a roll-on as well if you don't really like using an aerosol, but yeah, that's also going to keep you fresh. It's going to be like your mini shower in a can. Toilet seat covers. Yes, you're going to need some toilet seat covers if you don't want to get the Reading variant of COVID. <laughs> no, but on a real, you, if you've been to the festival before, you know how bad the uh, toilets are. I have kind of lost my smell since uh, having COVID a couple of weeks ago. I'm hoping it stays that way. Obviously you're gonna need, I've got a little plastic fold up toothbrush. I don't know where it is, but it's a little like plastic fold up toothbrush. Take a little uh, toothbrush that's nice and easy to take. Take a mini toothpaste and that'll be you sorted on that front. Um, a little mouthwash if you really think you need it, but to be honest with you, you're gonna be pouring cereal with cider. So uh, yeah, who needs mouthwash? Don't forget your essential tablets. You'll be surprised, but take some paracetamol for those headaches in the morning. Take some Rene's or Ren's, whatever it's called, heartburn tablets. Um, you're gonna wanna take those because if you drink a lot of cider, you don't want a warm lager, do you? Uh, three days into the festival, you're gonna want a nice warm dark fruit. So take your um, Rennies for your heartburn because that cider can build up and hurt a little bit. But yeah, that's a good one. There's a few other wash bits you could take. You could take like a mini shower gel. You could take like a dry shampoo. You could take a little shampoo. Use water. Like if you're not going to shower, then you can like grab one of the big like 10 litre bags of water, which you fill up, pour it over your head. I did that the uh, first year I went. It wasn't too bad to give your hair a quick wash, but makes you feel a little bit better if you want to do that. So yeah, take some shower gel, take some dry shampoo if you want to and it will just make that feel like a little bit fresher if wet wipes and uh, deodorant is not going to make you feel better. You can get something like I've got which is um, a little mini like comb and brush set like it's not a massive brush um, just to take to in your bag and you've always can feel a little bit cleaner just giving your hair a brush and obviously for girls it's a lot longer hair so yeah that's quite a good shout to take. Um, and maybe a little mirror if you want, but I suppose we've all got our phones now, so uh, we can just use our phones. But yeah, that's not a bad shout. And finally, take your own toilet roll. You're not going to go into a hotel bathroom. I'm sorry, but you're not. You're not going to walk in. There's going to be piles of toilet roll. No, you're going to have to take your own bog roll um, and get yourself ready for those cubicle prison toilets. That's just a pit on the ground if you haven't been there before. You go in, you go up the stairs, you go through the door. There's Everyone's going to the toilet in the same hole, so... Yeah, take your own toilet roll. Take your own bloody air freshener at this rate. Just get take what you feel is needed. I mean, you probably won't even. You might not even need half of that. You might just be alright with dry shampoo, wet wipes, and you'll be fine. So, yeah, just have a think of what else you may need. I'm. This isn't going to be a full, full on. You know, obviously it is a full essentials guide, but this sort of stuff I'm going to be taking, and I'll do without some stuff. So. Yeah. Okay, so going on to the next one, a little bit harder to describe because I don't have any of it um, sort of on me, but what you need to camp. So you're going to need a tent. I haven't even got, I haven't even sorted mine out yet. I'm hoping my girlfriend has one. Um, I think she will do, but yeah, a tent is essential. So obviously get yourself a tent, two man tent for yourself, four man tent for two of you and so on. 
I would recommend. I mean, I think I stayed in a two-man tent with just my friend on the first year, and it was tight. So, um, yeah, size up. <laughs> camping chairs. They are essential. Don't go to the festival without a camping chair, because all you want to do on that Wednesday or Thursday, you set up your tent, you want to sit down, crack open a warm dark fruits, because they're warm already by the time you get there, and sit down and enjoy where you are. So a camping chair is essential if you haven't been before, but yeah, take one. Obviously a sleeping bag you want, you can get a double one, you can get a single one, depending on who you're sharing your tent with, but get a decent one. I went the first year with a £10 sleeping bag, £10 tent, I was bloody freezing. I've got a £50 sleeping bag this year, I'm taking that home and I'm going to be keeping warm this year. It's going to happen. Mattress or mat? What you can do is get a mattress and take like a little air pump. You can get them from Wilco's, you can get them from like Tesco's. They're basically a little air pump that you just pop in and then it blows up your mattress for you. And a mattress, but I'm personally going to be taking a mat. I think if you put a mat on the ground it's a lot warmer because you don't have all that air that's going to just have cold air in it basically that's going to cold the thing whereas if you have a mat it's all going to be insulated and it's going to be the probably the warmest you get so i'm going to be taking a mat this year i'll let you know how it goes afterwards but i did a mattress on the first year and i want to avoid a lot of things i did that year <laughs> take a ground sheet if you want you can use that for your camp you can use that for the bottom layer of your tent it's completely up to you but a ground sheet is always quite a good shout again you can get them in places like wilco um, amazon of course for all these items but yeah, so they're basically just a long, big tarpaulin type sheet. You can have it to show where your camp is. You can have it underneath your tent. You can have it as your tent floor, where however you want it. But I'd recommend taking a ground sheet. Obviously a torch or a little, like a camp light, either a torch or a camp light or both. Torch just to see yourself away around if you think your phone might die, um, sort of towards the end of the day. And a little light for inside your tent is always good, but to be honest with you, I'm making this essential and realising how much we have on our phones. It's crazy. But yeah, take a little t uh, tent light and take a torch because that would be a lifesaver in the dark. You'll be surprised how dark it gets. And other things really about camping, take a hat, take a bucket hat, take a cap. That will sort you right out. Sunglasses as well. I mean, this is all really just hoping that it's going to be nice weather. Basically guaranteed at Reading. Um, but yeah, so make sure you've got all your essentials, like a hat, like a little bandana it always helps because it can get dusty on the last day, especially if it's gonna be really hot. It could be really hot for the weekend. So it can get dusty as we spoke about in our podcast. If you haven't checked out our podcast already, a big old Q&A about Reading and Leeds, that will be in the description down below, as well as just make sure you hit subscribe in time for the festival and to show your excitement. And yeah, anything else, sort of like a bum bag, I'm gonna take a bum bag. Yeah, and just stuff like that, but all things that are gonna help with your camping. Last one for the camping, a trolley. Take like a 4x4 trolley or a two-wheeler if you really want to. I hate the two-wheelers. Um, I think I'm going to get a four-way trolley that you just expand out this year. It's going to be a lifesaver for you taking all your stuff and taking stuff back as well on that last day. So yeah, get yourself a trolley. Okay, so I'm going to move on to food and drink last. So we're going to be talking about the rest. First of all, what you want is a portable charger. I'm about to plug a company big time. So what you're going to want is a anchor power bank, a power bank, but... I've got the Anchor one, it's 20,000 milliamp hours or whatever that is, whatever the charge is. But it does about seven or eight charges. I took it to 2018 Reading and it lasted me the whole weekend. This is an essential power bank, really good. It's like 30 quid, 20 quid on Amazon. All the links to these products will be in the description down below as well. But yeah, this Anchor power bank will be a lifesaver, so make sure you take that. Also as well, it's another Anchor product, a portable speaker. You're going to be sat around your camp sort of on those first couple of days and up until you go ready to see the artist that you can wake at six and not go until 12, one o'clock. So you're going to want to take a speaker for you to just listen to some tunes, get excited for the music that day. But yeah, a speaker and a power bank are definitely essential. Again, products in the description down below. Make sure you're taking some cash with you as well. Not, I think a lot of them are going to be cashless this year, but I think the non-essentials will also take cash. So I mean, if you want to feel a little bit better, then take cash. But or take a card. Make sure you remember your card and your ID and your cash if you want cash. And a big one, tickets. I know they're mobile tickets, but you might get some early birds through paper this year. You might get your car park through paper and it'll be easy to forget because you think, yeah, I've got it on my phone, then you'll forget and you'll get there. So write down somewhere, please, to take your tickets because the worst feeling in the world would be getting there and forgetting a ticket. So yeah, remember your tickets. And now we're just going to talk about the food and drink and what food and drink I'm going to be taking. So, food-wise, I'm going to take a lot of dry stuff. So you're going to want to take your cereal bars, cereal crisps, those sort of things, those quick snacks you can have in the morning for breakfast or 
during the day or take something um, sort of for the cues and stuff like that. So take those, they're an essential. Ruben actually mentioned that he took uh, like tin fruit, like ones you just pop the can. Not a bad idea. If you want something fresh tasting like like the pineapple rings or something in the morning, go for it. That sounds quite good and I might do that this year. But to be honest with you guys, going to Tesco, going to home bargains, have a little look around for like sort of beef jerky, dried nuts, those sort of things. All the things that won't that's not going to go off um, or be grim after a day or so. So yeah, think smart, buy smart, and yeah, you'll see our festival shopping video hopefully next week. Take some water if you want to, but definitely take a water jug thing. You can get them, I'll see if I can link one down in the description down below, but you can get like a 10 litre water jug thing that you take, and then you can pour in um, like from the water taps and just fill up like a 10 litre bar, uh, like bag. And then you can use that to dispense into water bottles or whatever you want to take. So yeah, alcohol wise, I would say cider. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to be taking beer. That's fine. Cans, remember. Um, but I'm going to take cider because it's a lot nicer warmer. If you're a drinker, of course, don't forget you're going to be waking up at 9 a.m. popping a little can, and it's just great fun. It's such a nice atmosphere. But yeah, take some cider. I'm going to take some dark fruits, maybe some recorded legs this year. And then also some bottles, some plastic bottles, transfer your spirits, a couple of big bottles of vodka or something into water bottles, that would do you. Um, that's what I'm going to do, I think, this year. I didn't really take spirits the first year, but I was only just turned 18. Where this year, I think it would be a lot nicer taking some spirits. So, yeah. And as well, mixers as well. Take a few bottles of Coke or a few cans, and then you can mix stuff up. Clothing. Five parts. I completely forgot about clothing. I'm talking practical clothing. So... Check the forecast about three days before you go. Wellies or equivalent if it's going to be raining. You need that. Um, ponchos, as I said, especially for Leeds. Leeds goers, take these. Um, get a poncho, get like an emergency blanket or something like that in case you get really cold. There's a few you can get, like sort of like first aidy sort of bits, but they're just helping the rain and stuff like that. Take some practical clothes, but check the forecast, to be honest with you. If it's going to look like it's going to be a blistering sun, don't bother taking wellies, just wear a decent pair of footwear. What you want to take is something like a beaten up pair of trainers that are still so comfy, that's going to be your best bet. And ones that you don't really care getting your foot, feet trampled on because that will happen. And to be honest with you guys, I can pin in the comments down below, if you're watching this in like a week's time, but after it's uploaded, I can pin in the comments down below if I've forgotten anything or other people suggest some good stuff to take. Because I'm not perfect, this is my, I mean I've been to a few festivals, this is my actual only second year camping at a festival at Reading. Um, I know I do all this page, I've just been into it for a while, finally went in 2018, 2019 I was abroad, so couldn't go, kind of booked it up before I knew I was 100% going, and obviously I wasn't as serious into it as I am now, so yeah, I'm not perfect, uh, hopefully next year it's going to be a lot more professional, I'm going to have all the items in front of me and stuff, but I wanted to get this out for you guys, because so many people were asking me what to take, I could put up photos and stuff, so that would make it all nice, but yeah, you can understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, I'll pin anything or write in the description down below anything I've missed. But I think I've covered everything. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. My name is of course been Adam Nixon. This is the Random Wheel. Make sure you follow us on all of our socials and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy Reading Festival um, and Reading and Leeds. Sorry, I'm going to Reading. More details about meet up, meeting up. More details on shopping videos and more set times and stuff like that. All coming in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the festival if you don't watch any videos until then. And uh, yeah, take care, guys.